Next step, and I just have this over at the chop saw, is we need to figure out where to cut this end part off for length. It's got to be a little bit shorter. We made it oversized. So we take this same template that we used earlier to cut out the width, put it back on exactly where you had it. And so again, that little transition with the line that I put on, it's, it's barely there, lines up with the edge of that, right where you had it before. And that's critical, right there. Okay, okay, nice and centered. Now we wanna cut this on the 12th fret. The 12th fret is the one with the hole in it. So what you need to do is turn it so that way on the 12th fret, I'm just draw a line right there. That's where I need to cut. So right there in line with that fret. Now we can take that off and set that aside. In the cart with the templates and everything else is this simple little jig. It's just a flat piece of wood with a piece of eighth inch material sticking out. Now you remember before we cut this notch into the top. Now it may not be exactly centered, but it is straight. It's exactly straight where we need it. So this board is exactly 15 inches. Okay, we check, that is 15. So I set this saw to 15. So now the edge of the blade will cut on the edge of this board. So all I do is I put that, the neck in that jig and it fits right into that slot right there. Okay, all the way back. Now I move it so the pencil line is extended just beyond the edge of the board. The blade's gonna cut that off. So I want that perfectly lined up with that pencil. So go here, that's lined up. I hold it nice and tight and cut slowly because there's nothing underneath to prevent tear out. So the slower you cut, the better it's gonna be. Nice and easy, we'll throw that away. So as you can see, there's just a little bit of tear out. That just wipes away with my hand. So I cut slow enough, so it did a good job. Now the neck is cut to length and it is sanded and you have nice sharp edges in the back where it'll glue to the bottom. As I've been sanding it and shaping it, I've been comparing it to the necks that are mounted on the wall so I can keep track of which stage I'm on. So I've reached stage six because it's nice and flush, but please ask me to make sure before you move on to putting the fretboard on. For now, what we're gonna do is drill two dowel holes here and here for when this attaches to the body of the ukulele. We have to do that before the fretboard goes on the top of this, which is the next thing we're going to work on. So we take this little jig that I made and this one says neck here, body here. So we're going to put the neck here side against the neck, just like that. Okay, they're gonna butt up right into each other. And of course you wanna center it as best you can. Just use your fingers. This is a little wider than this, so about the same amount of overhang on the left and right, that's not too bad. Right there. Just kinda of feel it until you're happy with it being centered, and then just put a clamp on it just so it doesn't move, okay? Uh, so that's it. So now this is on nice and tight. What's going to happen is we're gonna put these little dowels in between. So what we need to do is drill deep enough so that we're drilling about halfway of the length of this. So half of this distance. Obviously, I, I don't wanna drill all the way through, okay? So I'd rather it be less than more. So right now I'm a little bit too much, a little over halfway. So I'm gonna move this bit into the drill, just a little, just a little bit, tighten it down again. And that's about right, it's about halfway. If it's a hair off, that's okay, because the other side we drill all the way through, so there's plenty of room for it to, to extend. So there we go, that's how far I'm gonna drill. And now there are two holes, right here and here, and you're gonna drill all the way in until it doesn't drill any further. Take your time, because I want it to stay, I don't want this to move at all. So hold it tight. And a little more, I didn't quite make it. Okay. And then we go to the next one, do the same thing. Right there. So we have your holes drilled, and these dowels will go in. They tap in with a little bit of glue, but we'll do that a little bit later. 